Hello everyone, this is Zwalla and welcome to my first gaming slash editing PC build of 2016. Which in a few weeks will be ending and turning into 2017. Uh, anyway, uh, now a little disclaimer before anything, I am in no way, shape or form an expert when building a PC. I know the bare basics and that's it. So there will be some major errors in this video. The process will be completely out of order and you might even get pissed off and say, I don't deserve to live and that my PC should burn in an eternal fire. Forever. But it's a learning experience, so why not document it? Most of the videos that are out there are near perfect. My approach to this video is completely raw and aside from the light editing and time lapse, nearly uncut. Get ready. Before we get into the build, let's go ahead and go over the parts that I've picked out. Now, I'm not gonna go too into detail on why I picked these parts out because this could definitely turn into a 20 minute video. But I will tell you that they are on the high end side of the gaming spectrum and took me months to save up for it. We'll start off with the Cool Master Master Case Maker 5 Mid Tower Case with Freeform, which will be our foundation. For our motherboard, we went with the Asus Maximum 8 Hero Z170 ATX board with 6 gigabytes and USB 3.1. Sitting in the center of all that is our Intel Core i7 6700 Skylake Quad Core 4.0 GHz CPU, which is cooled by the Corsair Hydro Series H100i V2 Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. Now, I know you're looking at that cooler and saying, wait a minute, Zwalla, that's an H110i GT cooler and not an H100i. Yes, unfortunately, the 280 millimeter cooler was too big for this case and I did not want to sacrifice the optical bay drive, which I might use in the future. So I went with a smaller 240 millimeter cooler instead. Get over it. Let's move on. For storage, I decided to use my M.2 slot and go with the Samsung 950 256GB Pro M.2, which my operating system will sit on. And for fast acting storage, I went with the Samsung 850 Evo 2.5 500GB SATA 3 SSD. For my GPU, otherwise known as the graphics card, I went with the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 for the win 8GB graphics card, along with the RGB LED lighting that it comes with. And finally, powering all of that is our power supply which I went with the Corsair CX 850M 850W semi module power supply which is plenty of power for this build. So now that we got that all out of the way sit back and enjoy this video there will be no more commentary from me just an attempt to build this PC for the first time. This is Zwalla signing out.